When the banner is raised to the top of the penthouse mast, it's showtime again in Ashland for America's first Elizabethan theater. And this year, the Oregon Shakespearean Festival is welcoming record throngs to its 20th unique season of Shakespearean splendor. The productions are being seen nightly for the 41-night period from July 25th through September 3rd. This will be the second year for the festival's handsome new stage, built last year for Oregon's centennial summer by the contributions of its worldwide audience, a stage completely unlike any other anywhere. Before the season opened, weeks of intense preparation occupied the 90-member company. Technical director Richard Hay, who also designed the handsome new theater, here directs the installation of the pavilion playing area. This double level insert stage is used in front of the theater's facade as an additional acting space. It will be seen again this year in three of the major productions in Ashland. While the actors are busily rehearsing the shows, the technical department also works on a tight day and night schedule. Here, tech assistant Susan Stockbridge is painting one of the special curtains to be used in The Taming of the Shrew. Though the theater's Elizabethan facade remains the basic background for all of the shows, many additions and modifications vary the total appearance of the theater for each production. Stage manager Ed Brubaker is shown here working on another set of curtains to be used in the shows this year. Brubaker, for six years, the festival stage manager and a member of the acting company, is from Pennsylvania. All furniture, all special props are designed and built by the festival. Gene Chesley of California, a technical assistant, is working here on the SPQR standard to be featured prominently in the Julius Caesar staging. The festival is noted for the richness of its costuming and special appointments, as well as for the excellence of its productions. Complexities of lighting five productions are solved by lighting director Hugh C. Evans, shown at left from Wisconsin. He's seen here with assistant Tom Fredrickson. They're selecting circuits for the stage control dimmers. Light connections must be changed for each show. Controlling communication for the expansive theater plant are the telephone switchboard crews. Shown here is operator Diane Lohman. The many incoming calls are channeled to the various departments and inner theater calls are also dispatched. Meantime, the Public Relations Department of the festival distributes materials, films, photos, and other information about the festival to points all over the world. Music is always a prominent part of all festival activities. Music director Bernard Wint is here conducting an informal rehearsal on the green out by the stage door. Festival singers entertain before each show and are also seen in the shows. This year, the Oregon Shakespearean Festival is playing its longest season and is also embarking on a new project. In response to its audience's requests, the festival will this year offer the first Elizabethan play by an author other than Shakespeare. Seen here is veteran festival director James Sando in an early rehearsal session for The Duchess of Malfi by Shakespeare's contemporary John Webster. The exciting Webster drama will be seen August 22nd and 31st only. 1960s main productions are The Taming of the Shrew, Julius Caesar, The Tempest, and Richard II. The shows are staged nightly in Ashland from July 25th through September 3rd. For information or reservations, write Shakespeare, Ashland, Oregon, or visit the branch box office nearest your home. Make your reservations now for America's first Elizabethan theater, the Oregon Shakespearean Festival in Ashland, singularly magnificent. <laughs>